Let's make it easy, yeah. Hello and uh, welcome to another vlog, another video, and uh, somewhere a little bit different for you. Hopefully you can hear me, I'm shooting on the GoPro, I've left the bigger camera in the van, uh, and we're obviously at the seaside. Um, we are stood underneath a pier. What pier? Boscombe Pier. Uh, we are down near Bournemouth. Bournemouth is somewhere over there, in that uh, misty haze of rain you can see in the background. Um, why are we here? We're here on a one-to-one. -one. And yes, I know I'm videoing again, um, but I'm here with Anthony. Well, Anthony, just give, give a quick shake of the hand. <laughs> um, yeah, here with Anthony. Um, I've driven quite a long way down to come and meet him. Um, we're out today, the weather's not looking too grey, it's pretty wet and it's going to be pretty wet most of the day. But it's not as wet as it was last night. Last night it was horrendous, it really was. Um, so yeah, we're out, down shooting, we're underneath the pier getting our feet wet and uh, just trying to take a bit of shelter. We've been doing a few long exposures, so I think that's going to be the project for the day. We're going to stick to some long exposures, smooth out the water and try and do something a little bit arty-farty, I reckon. Um, I think that'll probably work, won't it? Yeah, I don't, right. think, don't think we've got any other choice, to be honest. Um, so yeah. Anthony's shooting on the Sony 6500. 6500. 6500. There you go. No idea how that works. <laughs> and I've got the little Fuji out, as you've probably, probably already guessed. Um, I've just shot this. I've just shot down that way. Um, a nice long exposure. I've done a couple of balanced exposure. Exposed, it comes the water. Yeah, underneath my feet. Um, I've shot several exposures. I've shot a long exposure to smooth out the water. I've shot another exposure to balance the exposure for the underneath of the, the rafters and the pier area, which is a concrete pier, and uh, a couple of different exposures for the sky. So I'll probably blend them all together just to make one image. Uh, if it works, I'll let you have a look at that. And uh, then of course, through the course of the day, I'll check in and just let you know what we're doing and what we're up to. Because um, again, this is Anthony's day, so unfortunately you guys have to bow down a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'll speak to you in a little while. Enjoy this photo and speak to you in a bit. back on back on that wasn't far we haven't moved anywhere I've just come from there to here uh, Anthony's just showing me I was looking at his camera actually and thinking well I wonder what he's shooting he's sort of shooting out the pier and I thought I was just waiting for the image to pop up and as it came up I looked at him and went, wow that's it I'm going home um, <laughs> he's got a cracking little image to be honest so as in style of photographers do I'm gonna have a similar do a similar sort of style I like it um, I helped him on the composition a little bit yeah just to tweak it slightly but Brilliant idea, really nice shape. Like that, that is stunning, that yeah. is That's really, really nice. nice that yeah. is a fantastic photograph. So I'm gonna borrow this off of him. I'm gonna put it up for you now. Uh, have a look at this one, and then I'm gonna do a comparison, but well, my comparison is virtually gonna be identical to that because I really like it. And it only works because of the conditions we got today. That wouldn't work on a sunny blue sky with clouds. It's got to be gray and overcast. Really, really good. Well done, I like that. Very, very good. Nice.
guy. I'm uh, now stood on the railings, as you can see. I've just finished taking the photographs. So I'm going to get down before I fall down. Um, brought Anthony down to this railings. He's seen an image he really, really likes. He sent me, showed me, he sent me this image and said it's really cool. Uh, the tide's not high enough, it's only a 2.1 metre tide, but we are here on high tide right now. Uh, 2.1 metres is just not enough. The image you're seeing was taken from back there. So I said to him, right, we can still get an image here by moving down inside these railings. And we are actually inside the railings. So I've got nowhere to run if the tide comes in now, um, or a big wave comes. Remember, seventh wave. Um, yeah, and his tripod wasn't quite big enough. So I lent in my tripod, got up as high as we possibly can, um, and shot down on top of the railings and it's turned out to be quite a nice shot. Um, I think I prefer his shot again to mine. Yeah, I think I prefer uh, Anthony's shot rather than mine, but it works quite well. So I managed to get one of myself. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, I managed to get one myself by moving around, but there's not enough water to get the image I was actually trying to get. Um, but yeah, he's quite happy watching me play and have a go as well. Uh, I think a lot's learnt by watching other people shoot as well. So uh, it's just the rain. We're struggling trying to keep the rain off, aren't we? <laughs> keep wiping the lens every two minutes. Um, I think my filter got quite wet under the pier. But yeah, not a bad little shot. Um, I'm just going to try and have one from this sort of angle, so we're shooting at a slightly different angle as well. Um, this boat's going to go out in the sea as well, we've got some powerboat racing. So yeah, that's the next bit done. Uh, we'll have another look around here, and then we're probably going to get a cup of coffee and then uh, make some plans for somewhere else. See you later. back we've just had a cup of coffee uh, just been down to the diner which is quite nice uh, you can probably hear some noise going on in the background there's some power boats down here uh, i would spin you around but they're probably tiny on the gopro um, we're up on the pier at the moment on a Foscombe pier and we come for a walk down the pier and we just spotted an image that most people probably wouldn't shoot but because it's gray and it's overcast um, it's lending itself to some quite sort of embracing the grey minimal shots. Um, so we're concentrating on a couple of lampposts in front of us. And I won't go through too many details on there um, because it's more about explaining it, you know, why would, why would um, Anthony want to come out on a one-to-one -one if I'm going to tell you what I've been doing? So uh, if you want to come on a one-to-one, -one, I'll show you what it is we're doing. Um, but yeah, we set up for a lovely simple shot. And in all fairness, yes, I've got a, not a bad image of it, but it is very minimal, very simple, very basic. Um, we were trying to wait for some people to walk through and we saw a couple with a poncho with some ponchos on, a little kid and a little lady with an umbrella and we actually asked them to walk back through the image again. I shot the image but I was so concerned about trying to get the image just as a person walked between the posts and Anthony had just shot it, he has got an absolute corker. Um, I'm just hoping it processes as well as what it is. It looks fantastic. So that could be the second shot of the day, again taken by Anthony. So, He's the one that should have this camera in his hand showing you how to do all this because it is an absolute corker of an image. I'd be proud to have had that myself. Uh, I have got a version of it. I will process it and I'll have a look and I'll bung it up for you. But again, I'm going to pinch that one off of him as well and I'll put it in the video for you to have a look at because I think both of the two images that he's taken today, the two, the two good ones, are worthy of being better than mine. Quite, quite, yeah, I do. And I've got runners coming. I've got runners coming. So I'm going to snap the shutter as I come through. They might not be in the right place, but we'll have a go. You never know.
they're in, but they're running away from the camera rather than into the camera. If they turn around and come back, I'll get them on the way back in. the pier why these pair have left them down here which is not ideal when you're doing a one-to-one -one workshop to walk away from your client really is it <laughs> but I've got so fed up of him getting the best shots that I'm gonna give all this game up can't be doing with this he's got three images now which are way better than anything I've taken today really really spot on and he's just laughing great <laughs> it's all down to it's all down to the tutorage <laughs> Oh well, I'm going to set the camera back up again because I've walked down the pier. There's a woman down there. She came past us earlier on. She walked up here with a black and white umbrella. Uh, and when she comes back down this way, I'm going to ask her if she can actually pose for us in between these two posts. Uh, and the reason I went down there is there was someone sitting on this bench before getting right in my shot. So I had to bail out. And Anthony's not moving. He rooted his tripod down. It is now growing into the pier and he's got the perfect position for it. So I'm going to get the camera set up. And uh, while we're here, we're just watching the surfers as well. There's, there's a lot of surfers around, so I might actually get the long lens out and maybe, have you got a long lens with you? Yep, it's got a long lens with me, so we might actually snap a few surfers to, just to bide the time a little bit and wait for this evening to come in and this rain to stop. But yeah, so far it's uh, not a bit of a bad day for him. <laughs> it's been a dreadful one for me. BBC ITV, Channel 4. Right. Play us a tune. I'm going to get you walking away on camera. <laughs> right, we've just um, commandeered two ladies uh, who were very pleased to, not very pleased, they were very willing to help. Um, we saw them came past earlier on and I took a selfie with their phone for them and they had polka dot um, umbrellas and I just quite like the idea of having the, the blue and the red polka dot umbrellas against something grey and minimal to add a bit of colour so did you get it? Yes. Good job, it's not yes. as good as mine though this time. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just said um, it's, it's having confidence, you know, having the confidence to go and speak to people and they can always say no, can't they? So uh, yeah, I think we managed to get a good, a good shot out of that, not too bad. We're just making the most of the weather. Um, if it's raining, if it's wet, umbrellas. We're looking for umbrellas now, so we're going to go and find someone else, see if we can get another shot. But it's just setting up the composition, get some people in it, and uh, even if yeah. we live are only three miles away. And even, yeah, do you know what? We're all these miles away from home, and I spoke to two people that live in Nantwich, where we live, which is just bonkers. How's that right? Um, so yeah, we're going to carry on now. We're probably done with the pier. The fishermen have sort of gone and left. Denise wanted to get a picture of the fishermen, so uh, yeah. No. Ready to move on? Yep. Yeah, right, we're going to go and find somewhere else. See you in a little while. Enjoy these coloured images. We've moved out again. We've just been and had some lunch, uh, a little bit of a bacon sandwich, and we're now down towards 
heading along the beach a little bit further, trying to find a little bit of different composition. As you can see behind me, Denise is there with Anthony. Uh, we're all set up, we're all pointing at these lovely, lovely coloured uh, beach huts, as you can see behind me. Look at that, aren't they just fantastically coloured? Uh, the difficulty with the shot is the buildings above it. Uh, the buildings are really quite horrible. Uh, and they're not, to be honest, they're quite nice buildings for what it is, but they don't make the picture. So what I'm trying to do, and I've just explained to um, Anthony as well, is to, to section off the beach. So we'll section off the beach huts. So you've got a nice set of beach huts that you're happy with, and then wait for a person to come along, or a couple of people, or something different, a dog or a cyclist, just to come through and to snap a shot. Uh, what Anthony just tried to do, he had a bike come past, and I'll show you the image in a moment. I had a cyclist come past. He's bang in the middle, which I'm not quite sure works. Um, it would have been nice if I'd have got him in front of one of the red box, um, but he had a yellow jacket on, which was pretty cool. So it's no good having him in front of the yellow building. I put the little yellow hut right on the rule of third, so that anything hopefully coming in from the left-hand side, coming through the image, will be walking into the image. What I've also got, which is quite a freak, is the join on the tarmac. They've done a join on the tarmac, which gives me a bit of a reflection and an almost a leading line from the bottom corner. So I really have put a little bit of thought into which beach huts um, I wanted in it. I wanted the two red ones and I wanted the bright yellow one on the roll of thirds. And just so happens I've got a blue one on the other side as well. So if we get some strong contrasting colours or some people or something different and I need to collar someone and ask them, then I will. But other than that, this is just going to be another one of those sit and wait games and just wait for something to happen. Wait for someone to come through that we can get this shot. Um, it's pretty good. And like I say, Anthony just tried to do a slow exposure on the, on the bike. So we'll see if that works or not. But that might be a good idea, have a blur of a bike coming through. Yeah, pretty good. This is this is this is the waiting game, and I don't do much of this waiting stuff, do I? So all three of us are having a good time and just making the most of the weather. to adjust me uh, shutter speed a little bit um, so I've been messing with the ISO I just got a runner come through and I thought it was absolutely spot on the runner was bang in the middle of the yellow and bang in the middle of the blue and I'll quickly bob them both up in the corner and show you what I was on about but I was at 125th of a second which just wasn't quick enough to keep him sharp because he was moving through the image um, all we're doing now is just watching up and down the beach just to to see who's coming to be prepared you know a dog walker or a cyclist or someone in a red coat or something like that um, so what i've done now is i've lifted my iso up to 640 um, and i've dropped me f me um shut a little bit of me aperture down to 6.4 which has given me a shutter speed of about 320th of a second so hopefully that'll be a little bit quicker um, to get the next jogger that's coming through because um, i'd like them sharp i'd like them sharp and both feet off the ground um, but yeah, it's just watching both ways and keeping an eye on anyone that's coming along that can be of any interest. But we will get one. We will get something that's good. we just got to keep waiting. Right, got myself a brolly dolly now. Look, so I'm hands-free. <laughs> we've just had uh, a guy come through. Um, you can see a little yellow spot right down the end. We've got a jogger on a cyclist. We'll just try this one as well. I'll video this as I'm doing it. Anthony's come up next to us now. So he's a bit closer. Uh, I managed to stop a lady in a red jacket and she actually walked through the frame for me, which was absolutely perfect. I've got a bang in the middle of the yellow. So I'm gonna show you several images in a minute, all of these uh, beach huts with uh, a varying array of um, people in them. That doesn't work quite as well. Um, yeah, because of the two people together, they overlap a little bit. But yeah, we've got a guy in a red yellow, uh, a red yellow, in a yellow jacket come through. As I saw him coming, I snapped him as he come past the red one there. And then he actually pulled in and stopped and asked us what we were doing. I said, he says, is it a competition? I said, yeah, it is a bit. Uh, so I asked him if he'd cycle back through and come back again. So I've got him coming in from the right-hand side and I've now got him coming in from the left-hand side. And I think it'd work nice to blend them both in and actually have the two of them in the same image. Um, I think it looked quite good and a bit quirky because they're both coming at each other and they're both the same person. But yeah, it's, been a, it's, turned into, it's turned into a bit of a competition, I think, today now, because someone's getting all the good images and I'm feeling a bit hard done by. So <laughs> we're just waiting, really, and just trying to 
catch something. Now Denise is going to hit the shutter button. Look, she's on my camera. She's got my shutter button in her hand. Let's see, let's see if she's good with that shutter because it's not as easy as you think. She hasn't got her glasses on. That's an excuse, isn't it? Look, Mrs. C at it. Ready? She's gonna, she doesn't know what she's doing. Oh, too soon. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, that's a good image. Shame it's on my camera. It's mine. <laughs> It's just that getting all these to get in the fine details, Perk getting it really, really prim and close. So uh, I'm gonna have a look at Anthony's and see what he's getting because I'm pretty sure he's probably got another absolute <laughs> winner knowing what he's like. A cyclist. Okay. Yeah. Did you get him coming in from the. Oh, bang in the green. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And he's in the yellow, which obviously clashes. They're good, the two runners. Yeah, the. Uh, two runners, because she's good. What I quite like is the. The man with her, yeah. The man with the yeah. No, I like, I actually like, let's have a look. I like that, I like the, yeah. the blue. It's got a nice one of a lady walking through. Oh, you're facing up in the air, sorry. Uh, it's got a nice one of a lady walking through. Uh, you can't see it on the back of the camera, but. Yeah, I'll probably pinch that one off, quite like that. Or I'll get him to send me his favorite one anyway, and then uh, we'll put that up. But it is, it's just, he's good, the cyclist with the green is quite good, yeah, really good clash. Good. It is, it's just trying to get them contrasting colours and trying to do something a bit different. So, uh, yeah, all in all, we are still having fun in the rain. Before we forget, Selfie. Let's set it up there for a selfie. We've had enough for five minutes. We're having a sit down. Anthony's checking all his social medias, trying to put his best photographs online. Denise is having a flick through it, all the masterpieces, and I'm just going to drown the cell in a glass of water. Anyway. <laughs> uh, no, um, yeah, we finished doing down there by the boat arch. It was quite good fun that was, quite enjoyed that. Just watching different people. And we actually asked a couple of people to do different things, which is nice. Um, it probably shows Anthony about getting confidence. Yes. Don't you feel confident enough yet to ask people, but it's, you know, what's the worst someone can do? Say no, so yeah, it's not too bad, I think. We, we're used to it. Um, we're gonna chill out for a bit now, I think. Uh, we sort of burnt ourselves out a bit with the rain and stuff. Um, it sort of limited what we can do for too long without the cameras getting drenched or the lenses getting drenched. So we're going to sit here for a little bit and uh, just chill out for a couple of hours. And let's say I'm here all day anyway, so I'm quite happy to do sunrise to sunset. Um, I don't mind. I'm not really I'm not really running for time. So we're going to wait until the lights starts dropping, the street lights come on, the lights on the pier come on, and it gets a bit interesting down there because there's a nice uh, couple of reflections in the water in the pathway and uh, the lamp and benches and things like that. So we'll, we'll find a couple more images this evening and uh, yeah, speak to you when it's uh, darker. It's now evening time. Uh, the time's getting on a bit now. It's about half five. No, it's not, six o'clock, isn't it? Gone Just gone six o'clock. Um, we went back up to the van for an hour or two just to chill out for a bit. Denise played her mind games on her iPad and I got an hour's kip I think or I fell asleep I don't know one of the two um, Anthony made a move uh, he decided when we sat down and we chat when I spoke to you last uh, we had a bit of a chat afterwards and he decided you know he said I'm more than happy with the day and how it's gone uh, very pleased with taking the photographs and doing what he did and uh, decided that he wanted to make a move so uh, yeah if you're watching this or when you're watching this Anthony thank you very much it was a it was a good morning or good eight hours anyway that's for sure and uh, hope you've got a couple of good images so uh, the plan now is me and Denise are heading back down the beach we are going to go and find a spot and do a, a few shots with the uh, lights uh, behind me all the lights light up down the beach and they're all different colors at the moment and the lights on the pier as you can see there the lights on the pier are on so 
we had a bit of a go this morning and Denise got a nice little shot this morning uh, but by the time me and Anthony finished talking the lights had gone off on the pier so that's pretty much all we're coming down here for to do a couple more shots down and around this beach and uh, get a few shots with the lights on see if they look any interesting see if they look any different so I'm gonna stop me waffling and uh, set the camera up and I might talk you through an image probably struggling to see me a little bit underneath here it's probably quite dark for uh, the camera hopefully you can see me and hear me considering the uh, sea is right behind you um, oh there's a paddleboard just gone past yeah I've got the camera set up I'm using the rules of thirds I've got the, the leading line of the pier running down I've got the lights and the reflection in the water um, I've put the timer on and I've gone up to 40 seconds at f18 f18 to give me a little bit of a starburst in the lights and uh, I'm also on an ISO low 80. Now I've never used the ISO low because I don't understand why they go from ISO 160 and then drop to low 80. What's the difference with low 80? Why can't they just be an ordinary 80? So I've never know whether it's as good as the lowest ISO or whether it's a make, made up ISO. I'm not quite sure of that. So maybe someone else can let me know how good the quality is. It's the first time I've used it. So I'm going to give it a bit of a run for its money because it will give me slightly longer shutter speed. Um, smoothing out all the water and just looking at a pretty basic simple image lights pier lights reflection and that's about it quite a nice little image Denise has got something very similar she's gone close to the pier now so uh, yeah I'm hiding underneath the umbrella as you can probably see and uh, yeah that's one done or a couple done at different slightly different positions I'm gonna go underneath the pier now over to the other side and uh, get one going the other direction yeah they're pretty basic pretty simple There's still a little bit of blue left in the sky so better than being black that's for sure switch it back on again I haven't moved more than about 30 foot um, I walked over towards Denise and she went look I've got quite a nice shot yeah you're right she has um, I'll show you her shot now and I've had to stand right next to her and do a similar shot um, the reason I liked it is because the light shining off the uh, pier is lighting up all the sand and you get this really dark shadow right down underneath the pier and uh, a nice starburst on the lights and then this bit of orange you know from the beach and I actually think it's a really nice line or a really nice colour and it's got a really nice line to it because it's leading from the top right hand corner right down into the middle of the thirds which is really quite a nice shot uh, for an evening shot on lights on the pier I think it works quite well and the little starburst are fantastic uh, 40th of a second no 40 seconds sorry F18 ISO 80 um, yeah quite nice quite nice indeed that Right, I'm going to go underneath the pier because she's looking at something else now. And she's one step ahead of me. She's getting the shots before I get there. So it looks like I'm copying. And maybe I am. <laughs> but why not, eh? Thank you. 
I think we're done. I think that's about it, didn't you? Uh, like I say, Anthony went over about half three. We've been like. out nearly 12 hours. We've been out nearly 12 hours. We started at seven this morning, mm. quarter to seven, and it's now, I don't know, half six, quarter to seven at night, so it's probably over 12 hours. We're not quite finished. We're going to walk down the front. Five past seven. Yeah, yeah over 12, 12 hours. hours. Uh, so we're going to have a quick walk down the front, there's some coloured lights down there, we're going to get a couple of shots down there and uh, yeah, going back to the van for a nice fancy pot noodle. <laughs> we had steak, she had steak last night didn't she, so um, yeah, so we're going to say thanks for watching, I know it's been a bit random, it's been a bit of a seaside adventure, maybe no epic landscapes, no fancy photographs, it's been what you can do the best in Boscombe when it's piddling down with rain and it's grey. And I don't think we've done too bad. I know yeah, Anthony's fun. enjoyed himself, you've yeah, enjoyed yourself. Today. And it's been quite good. It's been a bit of a laugh and it's been fun watching people and, and doing stuff. It's been a cross between landscape or seascape photography and a bit of street. So uh, yeah, all in all, not a bad day. So yeah, thanks for watching and till next time. Ciao. Ciao for now.